Oncocercus is, uh, is locally known as filaria, uh, but this is the type of filaria that blinds people. And it is a highly debilitating disease. It weakens people. It's a disease that uh, does not kill its uh, patients acutely, directly, you know, but it kills somehow because if average life expectancy is reduced by 15 years uh, for the infected comparatively, then you see that it's a killer. I need something that can cure filera, any substance, because entering into the water every day causes me water uh, eye blindness. I could not get up. My legs, my joints are paining me. This onchocerciasis is a disease that affects our lives. Me in particular, I mean my family. I have my legs always itching, itching bodies. I have feeling sometimes my eyes turning, yes, not visualizing well. It affects people's lives. Of course, onchocerciasis, which is known as river blindness, is a devastating disease. It literally causes blindness, which of course is, has a huge negative impact on people's lives. Unfortunately, it's just one of many neglected tropical diseases that disproportionately affect poor people in developing and least developed countries. Diseases such as leprosy, dengue, which is spreading outside the developing world, but also sleeping sickness, waterborne and soil-borne parasitic diseases that have a huge impact, especially on childhood development. WIPO Research, together with our key partner, BioVentures for Global Health, we facilitate new agreements, new collaborations between partners to advance research and development for the goal of having new and better treatments and ultimately, we hope, cures and vaccines that will prevent people from being negatively affected by these terrible diseases. So one of the types of collaborations of which we're very proud in WIPO research that thanks to a generous grant from the government of Australia, we've been able to financially support research sabbaticals of scientists from developing countries, particularly in Africa, at research institutions in Europe and the United States where they upgrade their clinical laboratory skills, they further their own research, and they take those skills back to to their home institutions, to their students and colleagues. I was an overseas for three months. Uh, I worked in the analytics department and then spent some time in the natural products chemistry department. I've learned a lot. I learned uh, a lot of analytical techniques, but also about natural products, isolation, characterization. Dr. Fidelis Chongwa takes that knowledge back and he uh, works with his colleagues and his students and this is a big part of what the World Intellectual Property Organization can do in terms of our mandate for capacity building and technology transfer. WIPO research can help to eradicate entities by bringing together different partners, collaborators, people who are involved, uh, who have some resources to share. Thanks to WIPO research, I can get that, that help. And then the people and overseas may need some help, some service or whatever from us here, and we'll be able to provide that. So at the end of the day, this networking will lead to the, uh, to the discovery of the drugs, diagnostic vaccines. We go to the field, we get people who have volunteered to donate microfilaria. So we take them to an area where transmission of oncocercasis does not take place. I mean a small a riverside area. So that they can give worms to the, to the flies, the black flies that transmit that disease. Then the microfilaria now develop within these black flies within seven days uh, to the infected stage larvae, the L3s, which will then dissect the flies and recover. So our colleagues will take these L3s and try to see if they can grow to adult ones or young ad or juvenile adults, which will now secrete certain molecules in the uh, laboratory animal. And then they can follow up those molecules and see if there could be diagnostic markers, if they could be important in diagnosis. So our overall goal 
is the elimination of onchocerciasis. Of course, if onchocerciasis is eliminated, we are biochemists. We are not bound to any specific disease, any specific infection. Then we move to the next and see that it is eliminated. Schisto, for example, you know, trypanosome, African trypanosomiasis. Those are all uh, neglected tropical diseases that are around us. You see? So our goal is to get these diseases eliminated systematically, and they can. The ultimate goal is to catalyze more research and development for neglected tropical diseases, malaria and TB, with the objective of facilitating the development of new and better treatments, hopefully cures and vaccines as well. And I think that WIPO research is well on its way to achieving that goal. I hope that in the future that this disease should be ameliorated so that people should feel free in my community. Yes, and when they get these drugs, I know that they will be, they will be well yes, and out of this, this disease.